All right, it's time for Fury Prot builds. I said builds, there is more than one. People have been wondering is it still robust like it used to be in Manila, wow. AKA classic, uh, call it however you want. The answer is yes. Fury Prot Warriors are still amazing to play, especially cause there's a lot of fun playing one. Seems like these Turtle Wolf developers know what they are doing. As far as I know, 90% of uh, the Warriors, uh, when it comes to Turtle WoW, uh, were about to quit once patch was announced. Uh, with class changes. Now those 90% of the Warriors have so much fun. That's where Turtle WoW as well as developers shine. These guys have some brains, man. Anyway, back to the point. Back to the topic. I'll make timestamps on this video, so just jump on part you're interested in. I came up with three different Fury slash Prot builds. So I'll start with the most simple one. Other builds require neat gear from AQ40, BWL and Naxxramas, especially Naxxramas. The fact that quotes most simple one quotes is called the most simple one doesn't mean that you can't tank AQ40 and the Naxxramas. Oh yes you can, with proper gear, bit of a brain and sheer will. Everything's possible. I cannot guarantee 100% that these builds will work in Tower of Karazhan as a main tank, because the bosses over there will probably hit like Russians RDS 220, but as an off tank it should be fine. I mean let's be real over here people, everyone can be second, third, fourth tank, but being a main tank that takes work. Without further ado, let's jump to talent points of the first build, which is the most obvious one. Alright, a very very simple build. Uh, shield uh, spec uh, 5 out of 5, increases your chance to block attacks with a shield by uh, 5% and uh, generates 5 rage when a block occurs. Uh, improved blood rage uh, 2 out of 2. Uh, 20, 20 rage and N rage is an amazing uh, opening. Uh, by the way, then we have a uh, toughness it increases your armor value from items by 10% and the amount of damage absorbed by your shield by 15%. That's amazing. Then we have last stand. You guys know what's last uh, stand. Uh, then over here we have cruelty. Uh, 5 out of 5, 5% uh, uh, crit chance. Now over here we have dual will spec, uh, which is really amazing. In increases the damage done by your offhand weapon by 25% and your chance to hit with your offhand weapon by 10%. That's huge. And your chance to hit with your offhand weapon by 10%. That's a lot. Uh, improved Shouts, of course, uh, Improved Shouts uh, plays a big role, increases the melee attack power bonus of your uh, Battle Shout by 25% and increases the melee attack power reduction of your Demoralizing Shout by uh, 40%, so you get it. Uh, you can be one of those warriors uh, if assigned to do Demo Shout, uh, any warrior can do, uh, any warrior can do Demo Shout. Uh, in a new patch, uh, there is no uh, improved demoralizing shout anymore, and all that kind of uh, bullshit. So uh, yeah, any any even arms, uh, even fury, even deep prot uh, uh, can do uh, can do e demoralizing shout. You know you know what I mean. So yeah, uh, blood craze. Now this is garbage over here, but we need it for enrage. Uh, Enrage gives you a 25% uh, melee damage bonus for 8 seconds after being the victim of critical strike. Now this is nerfed, but the thing is, every single time you use Blood Rage, you get Enrage. So try to time it correctly for threat. You get the point. Try to time it co correctly for, for that uh, big uh, blood thirst uh, uh, heroic strike, uh, I don't know... Uh, uh, cleave and all, all all the good stuff, you know what I mean, so uh, yeah, next we have Death Wish, of course, uh, now let me see over here, 
two, two, two. Yeah, right. Uh, now we need one point. Uh, now this depends on your guild and Naxramas. If you are kiting uh, adds on Gluth, uh, that's a doggy boss in Naxramas. You will put one point in Piercing Howl. Causes all enemies near the warrior to be dazed, reducing movement speed by 50% for 6 seconds. Alright, if you are kiting, if you are a kiter on glute, but that's only on one boss in an Axramas. If you are not kiter, you will put one point, point in Unbridled Wrath, which gives you a 15% chance to generate additional rage point when you deal melee damage with a weapon. The effect is double blood. This is garbage, this is garbage, but at least it's better than Piercing Howl. By the way, Piercing Howl can be used in PvP, if you are, if you want, uh, if you, if you didn't purchase your uh, dual spec yet, uh, if you don't have money to respec uh, every single time, etc, etc, uh, this is where a Piercing Howl uh, steps on stage, you get the idea. Next we have a 5 out of 5 in Flurry, which increases your attack speed by... Uh, 30% for your next 3 swings after dealing a melee critical strike and the last one we have uh, a blood thirst a blood thirst uh, now let me see over here uh, what did we miss in uh, prot tree right uh, now you can go with anticipation if your defense is lower uh, which increases uh, anticipation uh, 2 out of 3, which increases your defense skill by 14, right, uh, that's a lot, that's like, a, that's more than a ring or a trinket, you know what I mean, that's a lot, 14 defense is a lot, but if you are good on defense, you just put uh, 2 points in improved revenge, which gives uh, your revenge a 30% chance to stun the target, which is totally irrelevant, but it reduces its cooldown by one second. Now, as, as, as you know, revenge, uh, especially with uh, the defensive stance and the defiance, uh, uh, does quite uh, uh, a lot of threat, you know. So, if you want to min-max, you, you want that uh, one second cooldown, you know, uh, especially for rage dumping. Uh, so, uh, if you're low on defense, if you're below 360, 365, go for anticipation. If you're above 360, 365, 370, go for improved revenge. That's pretty much it. And the last 5 points, of course, defiance. Increases the threat generated while in defensive stance by an additional 15%. That will be pretty much for the first build. The most simple one, the most basic things. Let's move on to the second one. When it comes to second build, you need to be geared to the teeth. You need to be B-I-S. Bis. Or nearly bis. Because as you can see, we have zero points in protection 3. Which means no shield spec. No anticipation, uh, no last stand, uh, no improved revenge, no toughness, no defiance. But other, we have deep wounds, we have tactical mastery, we have impale, we have deflection, we have improved heroic strike. So let's start from uh, arms tree. Uh, improved heroic strike, 3 out of 3. Uh, tactical Mastery, you retain up to 25 of your Rage Points when you change stances. This is Stance Dancing, I'm pretty sure that you are familiar with this. And uh, I don't have, I don't, uh, I don't really need to explain you what this is for. I think I did explain uh, a few times in uh, previous, uh, in, in one of uh, previous videos. Uh, next we have Improved Rend, uh, which increases the bleed damage done by your Rend ability by 20%. Over here we have Deflection, which increases your parry chance by 5%. Then we have Deep Wounds, your Critical Strike... Uh, excuse me. Your Critical Strikes causes the opponent to bleed, dealing 30% of your melee's weapon's average damage. 
over six seconds and then we have this golden impale which increases the critical strike damage bonus of your abilities by 20 percent as you can see impale uh, deep wounds uh, perfectly stacks with uh, everything really with uh, blood thirst uh, with uh, cleave with uh, improved heroic strike even with uh, white attacks when it comes to that you know what i mean so uh yeah this is uh this is uh 20 points in uh, arms uh, tree when it comes to fury we have cruelty five out of five which increases your chance to get critical yeah you, you i i just don't want to yeah dual wheel spec of course uh, which increases the damage done by your offhand weapon like i mentioned in previous uh, build uh, uh yeah which increases uh, damage done by your, your offhand weapon by 25 percent and your chance to hit with your offhand weapon by 10 percent uh, then we have blood craze which is once again a garbage talent but we need it for enrage which gives you 25 percent uh, melee damage bonus uh, for eight seconds after being the victim of a critical strike then we have death wish of course uh, flurry uh, five out of five increases your attack speed by 30 percent for your next three swings after dealing a melee critical strike and then we have blood thirst that will be the second uh build uh, but over here uh, like i mentioned in previous uh, build build one uh, if you are a kiter on glut put one in piercing howl and remove one in unbridled wrath because 15 percent chance to get one additional rage point i don't know man that's that's kind of bad that's bad 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 on the other hand piercing howl i mean uh, if you are ranking uh, if you are pvping uh, and all that kind of stuff you know what i mean uh, piercing hole is uh, is really really nice but uh, unfortunately so this is a uh, sword with uh, double edge you know what i mean uh both are how can i how can i say both are good in their own ways piercing howl when it comes to pve plays uh huge roles uh, when it comes to gluth but that's only one boss in an extramas and uh, unbridled wrath uh, will give you more uh, tps uh, and uh, damage overall it won't be something wow you won't get uh, you won't get uh, much more TPS or DPS uh, from that one rage point, which has 15% chance uh, to occur, uh, but uh, it's at least better than uh, piercing hovel, and uh, that's pretty much it. In protection, as you can see, we do not have anything. And I have to tell you one more time: you need to be geared to the teeth if you want to play with this build because this is not for the beginners this is for aq slash B uh, bwl slash next uh, uh fury prot warriors this is basically a fury warrior in prot gear fury warrior in fury slash prot gear sorry you have to be advanced player to actually use this build because you can get clapped easily so once again you need to be bis or nearly bis to use this build that's pretty much it when it comes to build two let's move to build number three and the last fury prot uh, build i mean arms fury <laughs> uh build uh, would be this all right so uh we have a uh, three out of three in improved heroic strike now we have only two uh in tactical mastery uh you retain up to uh 10 of your rage points when you uh, change stances we have a uh, two uh, out of two in improved rend we have five out of five in deflection increases your parry chance by five percent we have uh, three out of three in uh, deep wounds your critical strike causes the opponent to bleed 
dealing uh, 30 percent of your melee's weapons average damage over six seconds and we have impale uh, once again a big highlight uh, deep wounds and impale perfectly stacks with uh, blood thirst with uh, heroic strike with uh, with cleave with uh, even white attacks you know so uh, this place this over here plays a biggest role these two points i mean these two talents are amazing these two talents are amazing in fury 3 we have in fury 3 we have a cruelty 5 out of 5 that's additional uh, 5 percent crit uh, then we have a dual wield uh, spec uh, uh, 5 out of 5 we have improved shout uh, 5 out of 5 now once again when it comes to piercing howl and when it comes to unbridled wrath it I will let you guys to choose what's better for you what suits you better if you are not kiter on gluth go for unbridled wrath if your raid leader assigns you to kite the ads on gluth just put piercing hole simple as that then we have a blood craze uh, three out of three then we have enrage five out of five we have death wish we have flurry we have blood thirst uh, I didn't put blood drinker because this is a garbage talent while under the effect of enrage death wish or recklessness your critical strikes with abilities causes your next melee attacks to heal you for 2% of your maximum health that's garbage that's just not worth it instead to cover a little bit over here uh, how can I express myself uh, to uh, to protect yourself and to and to reduce the pressure on your healers I decided to go three out of three in anticipation which increases your defense skill by 20 defense skill by 20 that's a lot that's a lot you need this because you are squishy you don't have shield uh, specialization you don't have toughness uh, you don't have uh, you don't have anything uh, in prot uh, tree you know what i mean you don't have last stand uh, so yeah once again once again for uh, build 2 and for build 3 uh, this is build 3 uh, you need to be uh, BIS or nearly BIS which is best in slot for this to work all right we covered all three specs if you guys have any uh, questions or suggestions you can post uh, the comments uh, down below I will do my best uh, to answer if you need macros and all that kind of stuff you know what I mean uh, just uh, just uh, put the comments down below uh, and uh, I'll write them down for you just uh, tell me what you need uh, I'll try to help as much as I can and uh, yeah that's pretty much it last thing we need to focus on is rotation let's jump on the rotation of uh, fury prot warrior arms fury warrior <laughs> i don't know what it is anymore let's uh, let's do this so when it comes to rotation try your best to have zerker rage up for extra rage all the time unless you have a lot of rage in defensive stance of course then it's not worth stance dancing back to zerker rage and losing all that rage unless you have tactical mastery zerker rage aka berserker rage generates extra rage when taking damage which results in more rage which results in more tps aka threat per second Immediately after you pop Zerker Rage from Zerker Stance, you enter Defensive Stance. Zerker Rage will be still up and that's when your rotation starts. Alright, so first of all use Blood Rage for extra rage and what's more important for Enrage. Cause like I mentioned, 
Every time you use the blood rage, it gives you 100% of enrage proc. So use blood rage wisely. Then you smash boss with that big blood thirst into thunder armor if less than 5 stacks. Into heroic strike, into revenge, into blood thirst again. If there is rage to be dumped, thunder armor and heroic strike are your best friends. Repeat and repeat. When it comes to AoE tanking, cleave, thunderclap, uh, demoralizing shout, uh, etc. are your best friends. If things go south, get ready to swap off hand weapon with shield ASAP. Into shield block, call out for some extra healing. And that's it. That's pretty much it. I didn't want to go into more details to confuse people who would like to keep things simple. Cheers, brothers. Nargul out.